Hey guys, this video is gonna be showing you our morning routine. We're gonna go take care of the animals and do some weekly chores, and we're also going to show you some progress around the homestead, so stick around. So we just had a nor'easter that had 80 mile per hour winds blow in a couple days ago, so that's why when I was filling up all their water bowls, there was twigs and big limbs on here. Uh, over on the tarp part, there's a bunch of water that's all hanging down the whole tarp. So kind of have a little mess to do to fix after the storm, but the animals are all good. They didn't get bothered by it too much. So now I'm gonna go fix the tarp over here. There we go, that's much better. Cleared off all the water. Straighten the tarp out a little bit. Hi, good girls. Chick, 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 hi, good girls. Okay. You got some extra bedding for them? Because they make everything muddy. The ducks do that. So this is some produce that uh, just kind of went bad, we couldn't eat. So we're gonna give it to the ducks and chickens here. Very good guys. Let them enjoy that. Mighty woman. Oh yeah. We need to get more grain for the ducks. Three duck eggs, one little tiny chicken egg. Guys, so these guys just came off of pasture. Uh, we had to move them to this cage uh, because they yesterday they got out of their pasture cage. They dug out. They dug out. So they had to go to this indestructible cage, unfortunately, so they can't have grass anymore. So I'm kind of giving them grass to replace that. They have hay now, of course. So these are, we have two meat rabbits in here. We got about a couple months ago. We're just growing them out for butcher. Uh, but yesterday I came out and they were just in, in the y yard, just eating outside their cage that we've been moving around the yard for them. He shouted up the stairs and said, honey, the rabbits are out. <laughs> yeah, and so we got our uh, little, our fishing net deal we have in the shed and we, we we caught the white one first. She wasn't running around too much. We were able to just get the net over her and put her back. 
uh, but the gray one was skittish. As soon as I came outside, he booked it around the garden, came towards me, and darted underneath our deck. Uh, so I knew he was under there, so we took care of the, rab the white rabbit first, and then we scared out the, gr uh, the gray one from underneath the deck. He ran around the shed a little bit, and then uh, he stopped underneath a bush. I tried jumping and like getting the net over him, but I missed and spooked him, so he ran, and he was running towards like our neighbor's property, and Katie was in front of him, and she made like this dive <laughs> to like put her body in front to like stop the rabbit. I had to stop him from getting into the neighbor's yard because <laughs> then he would have been gone, and so I just did this like football, like I had to just catch it. And it so was I... like she was like a short stop, uh, stop in the baseball. Yeah, so, so, she, so and she, I, I was successful, so. You were successful, you got the rabbit to stop, and then we finally were able to pin him and uh, grab him. Yeah, but that was our fun. Actually, he jumped right into the net. Actually, that's true. He, that's... he dived into the net at one point, and we were like, "Okay, we got him." Uh, yeah, we pinned him in the corner. I put the net up, and he he jumped in. So that was our fun ex uh, story with these guys. And so we had to put them in here just because uh, we they were gonna dig out again once they learned that they could do that. Yep, so now they're in the indestructible cage, which honestly, it's a nice cage. There's nothing wrong with it. We just feel bad because they used to be out here on our yard eating grass. Um, but now they can't do that because they would just dig out. Yep. So they're in here and we give them grass in here. So now we uh, need to take care of these guys, so. There we go, guys. So we're just gonna top off the grain for them. Since we're just growing them out for butcher, just we're just free feeding them. Okay, that's good. So our last video, we planted our hairy vetch cover crop for our garden, and it's coming in pretty good. Uh, some spots are definitely thicker than others, uh, but it was our first time not too worried about it. Uh, so really fun to see. So this spring we got honeybees. Uh, we've been uh, working with them for the first time this year, so we're just learning and uh, we've enjoyed it, but just wanted to kind of show you guys. We haven't showed you on the channel yet. So this is our beehive. Uh, we're get, kind of getting ready for the winter time. We're ordering, some, ordering in some uh, hive insulators and trying to get th them through the winter. But I'm just gonna crack open the lid. We're, we're feeding them right now. So just gonna make sure all the sugars haven't crystallized up and they can still get to the food. So they can only get to this from inside the hive uh, when the lid is on. And it's a water-sugar mixture, and sometimes the sugar clumps up like this. Uh, and so you just want to make sure that the, they can actually get to the liquid and not just uh, the sugar, the, the clumped sugar. So that's all we're doing with the hive today. We're still learning, uh, but it's been a fun summer of having the honeybees. Thanks for coming along with us on our Homestead Fall Update. We enjoyed shooting it, and hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what's going on around here. So, see you next time. Bye. I stuttered at one point, but it's fine. I don't care. <laughs>